ahead of us now is daylight, so it'll be interesting to see where we come out. And this is it. My name is Martin and welcome back to another video. Well, it's a beautiful summer day in May and you join us on a journey where we're following the River Medlock from Phillips Park when we started back in January and we're going to follow it all the way through to where it ends at the River Irwell in Manchester. Now it's a difficult river to follow and you saw just in that opening sequence where we left off at the, uh, the culvert. Well, the river now goes through Holt Town and in this episode, we're going to look at Holt Town and a few other things just around the area. Now it's, this is the first part of where the Medlock starts to get really, really inaccessible because there's a bank there. I'm not quite sure what's on the other side of that bank, but it's extremely steep. There's, there's a weir and then it runs along there, the Medlock. And then I'm pretty certain it runs underneath the tram tracks just down there. I know it does because when we go on that side of the tram tracks, we can see it on the other side. Well, we, we, we can walk alongside of it. So let's get back over there and we'll go and follow it again now. Now, believe it or not, I started this journey uh, of walking the Medlock from Phillips Park down to where it ends at the Irwell back in December last year. And I thought I could do it in one episode. I thought I'd be able to do it just all in one episode and that would be it. <sighs> How wrong was I? Because as I sort of like travelled the, the journey of the Medlock, I realised there was so much stuff involved and it was such a difficult river to follow. But um, yeah, so it's going to take about three, four, five episodes, believe it or not, maybe more. But anyway, I digress. But back in December, when I started looking around this area, I found something just as we go back toward, down here towards Holt Town Station, just on the right. And I thought it was wonderful then. And I found more about it since. And I think it's now even more wonderful. I'll just take you down here and show you. And believe it or not, it's just a set of steps. Maybe mid-Victorian, late Victorian, 1900s. But it's really, they're really quirky and I know for a fact they've been there for years and years and years and they're still there now. And they're probably steeped in history. I bet there's kids and older people that have run up and down these steps and I'm going to tell you something about them in a bit that makes them even more special. So these steps, I don't know if you're familiar with a film called A Taste of Honey, but it was written by a Salford playwright called Sheila Delaney and it came out in 1961. Now it's a great film to watch because not only is it a great story, but some of the uh, places where they film the scenes are just brilliant, brilliant archive footage of Manchester back in the early 60s, probably the late 50s when it was filmed. But it wasn't, wasn't until after I found these steps that I realised that these steps feature in one of the scenes from that film, A Taste of Honey. So I'm going to show you a clip now from the film. And I'll just show you around the corner here where the, the clip starts and you can follow the rest. A happy young man without a care in the world. Now I'm trapped in a primitive cult. What's that? Now, Mao? No matter when it's... Trapped? I like that. You almost begged me to marry you. Ah. I must go. You're the boss. Well, goodbye. Hey, aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? You know I am. Dream of it. Dreamt of you last night. Fell out of bed twice. Ta-ra. I love you. Why do you love me? Because you're daft. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that film, A Taste of Honey, it just seems to resonate with me somehow. Um, and I'll tell you why. When I was a kid, in or oh, my earliest memories in the very, very early 70s, where I lived, things hadn't really moved on probably from the 60s. And so some of the scenes in that film kind of are stuck in here. I saw that little bit of Manchester. And also, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the pictures of Shirley Baker. I did a video where I went to one of her exhibitions and she, she was a, a Manchester photographer who took pictures um, around Manchester during that transitionary period when all the slum clearance was going on. And some of the pictures are really, really brilliant. But those pictures of Shirley Baker and that film, A Taste of Honey, take me back to some of my earliest, earliest childhood memories. I just, I'm not saying that I lived in the 60s, I was born in the late 60s, but I got a little bit of a glimpse of the Manchester that was hadn't changed much from then. So, kind of sticks in here a little bit. And then of course, later on in the 80s, Morrissey and the Smiths revisited all that. Um, particularly when he put Viv Nicholson on the front of the single, Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now. Um, and that kind of brought all it, it all back again for me. So, all this, you know, the film, the pictures of Shirley Baker and the Smiths kind of all sort of like a tied into one with me and up here somewhere. But that's why I love the idea of finding these steps and then realising they were used in that film. What's that? Mau Mau? No matter with it. Tractor like that. So, Holt Town, 1785, a mill colony was, was established by David Holt. Later, he was joined in partnership by William Mitchell. Now, the area at that time was sort of semi-rural or rural, and they established Manchester's first mill colony, whereby they built houses for the workers, and it was all kind of self-contained. The only other example was Quarry Bank Mill in style in Cheshire. Now the original mill that he built is described as being down by the meandering river Medlock. But later apparently there was a spur built off the Medlock that fed a reservoir. And that reservoir later fed Manchester City Centre with um, water. Now we're talking about Manchester City Centre maybe very early 1800s. So all this has long since gone as far as I'm aware. Now as well as Holt Town being named after David Holt, Merrill Street in Ancoats apparently used to be named Mitchell Street. And of course you've got the Mitchell's Arms, of which I've got a very old photograph, I think, from the 60s or something like that. So I had a problem when I was making this video because it sort of centres on Holt Town. And the main part of it is this original mill colony and these houses and the mill buildings. And of course it's long since gone and I couldn't find any evidence of what it was like at the time. Um, and I'm reading and it's describing a reservoir around here and a spur that comes off the meandering river Medlock. And I'm thinking, there's no pictures because it's like we're talking 1785, early 1800s. So it's very difficult to show you what it was like and I can't picture it at all. And then during the research, I found a map. And this map is almost as good as going back in time. It's brilliant because it shows everything. Now I'm just going to show you on the modern day map where we're looking at and then I'm going to show you this map 
from I think it's 1842 so it's probably it's 47 years after the original uh, mill colony was established but take a look at this okay so here's the modern day map points of reference for you look at the arc the way the roads at the bottom form an arc um, Merrill Street we know it used to be called Mitchell Street it arcs over into Ashton New Road look at the red arrow where the Medlock is use these as reference points for the next map you're about to see look at that field just above the red arrow and ready to go to 1842 and look at that look at where the field was in the previous map is now buildings I think that was the original mill colony by the meandering river Medlock and look at the reservoir I'll just let you ponder on that for a while because it is so radically radically different from that area today Now we're just at Holt Town Bridge, which is just there underneath there. And the road up there is Ashton New Road. But I want to show you a photograph in a moment. That picture is just amazing. And I am leaning against that wall in the previous clip and the next clip. And I want you to remember something about where we are now. I'm going to show you now. Okay, so all I want you to do is remember the wall. That big high wall. Above that, Ashton New Road. But the wall next to the river. Old map on the left, new map on the right. Look at Phillips Park Road. Look at the cursors. Look how Phillips Park Road used to join up with Ashton New Road. And now, if you look on the right, it stops. We're interested in the junction there on the old map on the left hand side where Phillips Park Road used to meet Ashton New Road. The arrow, the red arrow that's just appeared, shows a grey band. That grey band is a row of houses. We're interested in that row of houses and at the back of that row of houses is the River Medlock. Let me show you a picture. Holt Town Bridge is immediately in front of us and there's a row of houses just in the distance to the right of the picture. That row of houses is the beginning of Phillips Park Road, that's the junction with Ashton New Road. Here's a picture that shows the back of those houses backing onto the Medlock. Remember the wall? Now the bushes just across the road there are where Phillips Park used to meet Ashton New Road and the bushes sort of screen it off now and that's where those houses used to be just there. The road used to just branch off there, it doesn't anymore. Now there's a fence up there but I'm going to try and walk over and see if we can see any sort of evidence of the land where the houses stood. So this is it, this is Ashton New Road and then this little green bit piece here was probably the branch off of Phillips Park Road. And where I am now, I probably stood in the front rooms of what was the front rooms of those houses or maybe just on the street. But uh, I'm just gonna show you something down here now to my left. Now I'm having a bit of an excited moment here because this is what this channel is all about. And you're not gonna think anything of it, but down here, down here, just on the what is the edge of the river, but there's still a little bit of land, are the foundations for those houses. They're still there down there. 
I'll put my other lens on and we'll zoom in and have a look and it's difficult because there's loads of undergrowth it's really hard to see through the undergrowth but you can just see the, the, probably what were the cellars of those houses really is an amazing <laughs> amazing moment this because I thought they would have cleared my way to completely but to see an old photograph and then to come here whatever 70 80 years later and find a connection to that old photograph which is just down here now is amazing I'm probably making it into too big a thing than what it is but I'll just show you down here now So here's another picture of that wall, that wonderful wall, although I don't know, maybe those houses were bloody awful to live in, who knows eh? But look at those massive sort of cellar structures that sort of supported the wall and the houses. And in that previous clip in the bushes, that's probably the brickwork that is now remaining. Anyway, for whatever reason, the houses were pulled down and this could have been the reason. Um, this is a picture of that wall where it's collapsed, partially collapsed. Whether this is due to flood or not, I don't know. But for whatever reason, those houses eventually got pulled down. And um, all we're left with now is just that little wooded sort of bushy area now at the side of Ashton New Road. So believe it or not, I'm in a little bit of woodland now, just on the other side of Holt Town Bridge. Ashton, Ashton New Road is just up there and it's just totally impenetrable what I've just walked through to get down to the river and that's the flavour for the next episode the river becomes more and more impenetrable um, you see I'm covered in all sorts there this is just a little wooded area believe it or not just near Ancoats um, and this is the river runs that way now towards Ancoats meanders quite a bit and it's like this it's almost this next bit is in like a real green belt sort of area very very impenetrable so I don't know I'm going to go on but episode 5 will be down towards Ancoats now. So Holt Town Bridge, we're going to leave it there now. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned and I shall make episode 5 as soon as I research it, look into it. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Take care.